shallow float from RW is a perfect float for when you're fishing that little bit deeper when you're fishing shallow. Now, on days where it's a little bit trickier and then fish don't want to come right in the top of lake, layers of the water like less than 18 inches deep it's really important that you use a bristle type float now our dibbers are a brilliant float for fishing shallow but if you're fishing deeper than 18 inches they just don't work and settle correctly so this is where this float comes into it so the f1 shallow is a diamond shaped body now we found when we tested this float that that diamond shaped body just sits a lot more stable than like your slim type body so any wind on the water, any bit of water movement, this just tends to sit nice and positively and doesn't tend to rock on itself at all. Now, that's really important when you're using little dinky floats like this because you don't want to have to use a real big, heavy float. You want a nice little float. So having that diamond body, it just works perfectly on this float. Now, the tip size is also really important. It's got a one and a half mil hollow tip. Now, if you have this tip too thick, it will not show the bites up well. There'll be too much resistance there and you'll have found that, you know, F1s and I'd, they'll spit the bait out quick and you'll miss a lot of bites. And obviously if you have it too thin, it won't suspend a decent bait like a four mil or a six mil pellet and you won't be able to see it clearly. So I just find that this 1.5 mil hollow bristle works perfectly with this float. And it's also got a short carbon stem on it. So it can follow your bait through the water. So a lot of the time when you're fishing a little bit deeper, laying the float in and just letting it fall through you'll catch a lot of your fish just as it's about to settle up so using a carbon stem on this float is really really important now the uses i tend to use this float for and the baits like i said fishing from sort of 18 inches deep maybe up to three three and a half foot deep with baits like maggots casters and pellets when i'm fishing for f1s and smaller carp and fish like hide and stuff like that it comes only in one size and the reason we only make it in one size, basically it hasn't even got a size marked up on it, it's just the F1 shallow. And it's because we found that this size that this float's made in is the perfect size for fishing any depth from 18 inch up to three foot. We don't feel like we need another float in the range. It's just about taking the confusion away from the anglers. This is the one to use. It's the perfect float for this situation, the F1 shallow from RW. shotting pattern on the F1 shallow needs to be a little bit more delicate than the smaller little shallow floats like the dibbers that we have in the range. I don't tend to just use a little bulk on this float because you tend to find when you fish a little bit deeper you catch a lot more of the fish sort of through the water and just as the bait's settling so I tend to use on this float a little strung out pattern and you might also notice that I'm using shot on this instead of stots. Now you'll see on my other shallow floats I tend to use stots a lot of the time but when you're spreading the shot out like this, you tend to find that stots just move about on the line too much. So using, sh using shot on this rig just keeps them in position and it saves a bit of time moving it back into place. I just find it works better on more delicate shotting patterns like this. Now, I start off with my shot just spread out about an inch to an inch and a half apart. And that's great when you're fishing sort of 18 inches deep. And then as I deepen the rig off, I would just tend to move them out a little bit further apart so maybe up to two two and a half inches at the widest sort of shotting pattern just to create that little bit of an arc as your bait falls through the water and just to slow that fall down now you still want to have a nice short hook length so just because we're fishing a bit deeper don't elongate the hook length because again you won't see the bites clearly so that number 10 shot just is above a three inch hook length and that just works great shows the bites up well a lot of the time when you're fishing a bit deeper the bites are a little bit more finicky as well so it's really really important that you do have that positive shot just above that short hook length so nice simple shotting pattern again but just that little bit more finesse in the float which is exactly what this float's all about a little bit slower fall through the water catching a lot of f1s in the summer and just tricking them wary fish that are sat a bit deeper on trickier days the f1 shallow from rw floats <laughs> 